Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? This is Big Salty06 coming at you with a tabletop review on uh, something I just picked up last week. Very, very hard to get right now. Very, extremely hard. They're on back order because they had some type of contract with the military and um, they want to start making them for military. So there was like thousands of units back order but I was the lucky one to go ahead um actually uh this this place like I always mention GAT one of the best places in the state of Illinois to purchase your firearms and um it was around the time they had their shot show they had just got them in or whatever I just I was looking it up just really just now finding out about it looking it up and I'm like well I really like that pistol so I called few places uh, first um, one of the main places I would like to would call is GAT as soon as I called them they said they had it uh, I was at work at the time I couldn't get out there till like two days later so I was calling them every day making sure they still had it one day after work just went shot over there BAM put it down put down my deposit waited my couple of days because you gotta wait a few days here in Illinois to get a firearm and um Waited my few days, and gay. Guess what? I ended up with this bad boy right here. Before I get into that, um, sob stories. Let me get into the greasy details of it. This here is the Ruger. SR nineteen eleven. Okay. Do a little functionality safety check for you. Brand new, so it's stiff. Okay. Nothing in the chamber. Nothing there. You can see straight through it. Okay. Lock it back down. Okay. This right here. Right now, it's my pride and joy. I have Glocks. But this is this is my first first 1911 ever. Um, when I first bought my first Glock, I seen this one and I was like, "Hey, I seen 19." So I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." 1911, wow. But as I got in more into purchasing firearms, I actually found out the 1911 is a really good pistol to have and to add to your collection. And what makes this specific about Ruger? Ruger hasn't dealt nothing like this in years, and they bring and they kind of brought this out at the hundred year mark, I would say. Uh, it came out nineteen eleven um, with the nineteen eleven. Ruger came out with the nineteen eleven in two thousand eleven. So I guess they was kind of waiting. They probably had the ideas in here, but hey, they was kind of waiting until they get to release it. But getting to the little specs of it, Ruger SR nineteen eleven. Has the wood grips, good wood grips to come with it. Real unique, I would say. Nice color. Um, they kind of like, uh, kind of remind me of the um, Wilson Combat Starbust Coco Co 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 Bella grips or Coco Bella grips, however I'm pronouncing it. Kind of remind me about those. Come with the skeletonized hammer. There, skeletonized trigger, real lightweight. A crisp pull on that trigger. Um, come with the extended safety. Me, I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna I'm go ahead and opt and call Ruger for those um, ambidextrous safeties they have. They offer. Uh, I was gonna go with like Wilson Combat and Air Brown, all those particular ones. I was gonna do that, but I just want to do Ruger, Ruger on Ruger. You know, what I'm saying? I don't, does that make sense to you? Ruger on Ruger. You can go Wilson Compact. Probably have to do a few file. They might have to do file with the Ruger, but. Ruger specifically made them for this, so I would think you would not have to do any fouling for the Ambi safeties for the lefties. So I'm gonna go ahead and argue, uh, order those, which might be like 75 bucks when I check the website. That's like the Ruger, the only person that sells those. But it comes with the Novak, Novak white dot sights. These, these sights are really beautiful, beautiful sights on those. Real beautiful. See if I can get a little bird's eye view of it for you. See, real, that's a real. That's a real good and beautiful sights. Yeah, those are good sights. Um, what else? 
Ruger actually opted out, made their a little good, made their uh, 19, 1911 look a little better because they want more people to try to get used to the firearm. You know what I'm saying? They want people to more get used to the firearm. So more comfortable. They added the most people like Kimber. They come out with these. The back panels is um, the back grips right here are plastic. Ruger came out with a metal one. Extended beaver tail. Then slack on that. Good grip. See, I have, I have big hands, so that's good. Won't get no bite. Uh, what Ruger didn't do. They didn't do the serrations right here, which is not really a big deal to me. By this being my first 19 lot, I'm not really, I'm not really used to that extra grip right here so if i want to i guess i'll just buy the insert the hugo grip or something like that for it but other than that right now it's good um what else has extended extended mag release um yeah you can dry fire these safely i end up when i bought it, i bought a snap cap for it uh really didn't need that for dry firing like for practice um, but it's like say if you want to practice chambering around yeah that's good for that but as far as dry firing you really don't need it um, Ruger also did the extended, um, this, this serration right here, they're extended for the, um, the release spent rounds. This is extended and kind of bevel so it can point in a direction away from you. Um, what else did Ruger do to this? Therefore, that's a good stainless steel there. It got and it's beveled a little bit too. Most people don't know that the, the brewer did bevel that a little bit. Even though I did order a Wilson Combat um, mag bevel housing right there. But I did order that. What else did I have? Uh, Ruger also comes. Ruger also comes with. Set that there. The Ruger also comes with two mags, seven round, seven round mag case. This one, particularly the magazine for the seven rounds, they don't have the, the Ruger logo on it. So I don't know if there's is something they just decided not to do, something like it's just seven round mag. But a lot of people, when they do eight round mags, they do. They have they have a number eight rounds, 45 ACP on there, and they have the, the Ruger logo. Let's see if I can get that in there for you. See the Ruger logo, have the bump pad on there. With the Ruger logo, and yeah, eight round mag, just like the Wilson Combat. Um, with the eight round, they got the Wilson Combat. Like people get the eight mags, they want to, I guess, put the name on it. Then. But also, what I have, a lot of people don't do reviews. I'm gonna do this. Is actually, a two review video too. I have not seen a review on YouTube. For DSG arms. Are you guys serious? You actually for, you actually don't know about DSG arms. Well, let me tell you a little bit about DSG arms. DSG arms is a tremendous company company. I found out about DSG arms when I was stationed over when I was stationed over in Kuwait. A lot of guys were ordering stuff from them or whatever like that. And they were making like kind of popular with each other within the base. So I thought when I come home, I'll see some things people kind of know about it. But people like act like they really don't know about DSG arms. Or people just don't like to just review about their things. This right here is the DSG arm Kydex holster. A lot of people make Kydex holsters now on YouTube. Self-made and all this stuff like that. Um, but uh, but it's, it's all good. Hey, make your money. But for me, Kydex is a good choice. I like the Kydex. See, they, throw the little, see, they had a the little emblem right there. DSG Alpha, right there. Good. It has good retention. Not, not too much to where you be struggling. And see, look at that click, but still has that tight pull. See, I'm not even really putting that much on it. See, click out, and it's real good. Okay, even with a full full rounds in there, it's still real good. I even also have it for the 1911 paddle, double nice, get, actually for a secure fit to the body. Again, they have the logo here and their logo there. 
Okay, good price on their stuff. And if you are, and if you are a member of the armed forces like me, they do give you a discount. You do get a um, they 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 update your page and give you a, give you a discount on on some of their items, especially their own made items. They make belts. Um, they have magazine holsters. Um, they even have now they even have DSG buffer tubes. And I'm going to try to opt out for one of those buffer tubes as well for my AR, but. Yeah, this is a good holster. Nice positive clicks on with this one. See, clicks right on. Sturdy. Hey, he's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. Okay. Then you want to take out the little extra for the finger room. See, once again, I'm a guy with big hands, so extra finger room there. Then. That's real. That's that's real good. You still get, and you still hear that click from the trip from the trigger way. That's where you get your clicks from on your Kydex. Most people don't know where the clicks come from, but on your Kydex is where your clicks come from. Your finger well, unless you got a Serpa, and it still clicks too down right there. Um, what else do I want to say about this particular weapon? Um, then yeah, DSG arms, good, good bang for the buck. Um, what else do I have? Yeah, once again, these rubies are hard, hard to come by, hard to find. Now, I don't. A lot of people if you want to order them, they don't have them. They could, they're gonna tell you, hey, put down a deposit, and we'll call and let you know when, when available or whatever like that. So you're paying on a guest job, really for me. But I was like one of the most, one of the first fortunate ones to get one. So I don't know. A lot of people, I was going, I was going to opt out and say forget it and go ahead and get the Remington's. Caribbean to have the nice one. We're gonna get that on um, the enhanced elite model. But I was like, and I, and by seeing this one, this one I wanted. Hey, that's the one I went with. The next one I might get. It might either be a. It might either be a Nighthawk, um, or, or even a um, a Wilson Combat black one. Gonna have the rail right there for like night sights or whatever like that. Cause it just now I'm kind of into the 1911s. But for the price, I get this one 700 bucks. That's the price range, six hundred to seven, between six and seven hundred. Um, that was that was good. Two mags, whatever like that. Ruger, you know, Ruger had their little lifetime warranty on all firearms, so there's really no reason to get a, a warrant to pay the extra twenty five thirty bucks for a warranty with a side to gun stores or the shops. But um, yeah, fully made in the USA. All right, get that out of the way. Fully made in the USA. Every part, every nook, every cranny, even by hand, USA. American made hands, okay. They went a full throttle on that. Um, what else? Uh, haven't I haven't fired it yet? Something I just got, been waiting to do the review. But I've wanted to do the review since now I have time. But uh, I haven't haven't fired yet. Sent any rounds down range with it yet. Um, plan on plan on do so in the next couple of weeks or so. Been kind of busy with work and everything like that. But good firearm. Uh, Ruger, Ruger, Ruger did do what it needs to do with this one. All right. Shout out to Ruger. Shout out to DSG Arms. Shout out to Recoil Magazine. Uh, Recoil Magazine has nice articles too. Check out Recoil Magazine. They have nice articles. Uh, just, I think it just came out with a new a new one. I haven't bought yet. They're kind of expensive, what ten bucks for a mag for a magazine, but. Hey, um, nice tips in there. If you got time to stand to the stand in the store and read it, let you hey go ahead and do that. But nice, nice um, up to date tips in there. And um, just want to say hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. Ruger, SR, 1911. Ready, aim, fire.